just as the salmon are drawn to swim upstream, people are drawn to watch them. It's pretty fascinating. Go watch for hours. <laughs> are they big or what? Wow. <laughs> people like Eric Turcott. Uh-oh, he fell back down. Who used to watch the salmon jump in the American River growing up. Droughts here and there. And finally, we got some rain, a lot of rain. And so here I am back with grandkids now. <laughs> the California Department of Fish and Wildlife opened the fish ladder at the Nimbus Fish Hatchery Friday, but only two to 300 fish are being allowed to swim up to the holding pool. Early November is typically when adult salmon return from the Pacific to spawn, and the ladder provides a safe path for salmon to navigate to their spawning grounds. Today's opening of the fish ladder is just a test run due to the discovery of low oxygen levels in the water earlier this week. But the California Department of Fish and Wildlife says if the fish do well today, it will be open in full force Monday. Because it was so big and they have teeth <laughs> right in the front. I didn't realize that. <laughs> for salmon seekers like Gloria Fanning, it doesn't matter there's a small pool of fish to view for now. She enjoys the front row seat to nature. Oh, well, just the instinct that makes them go upstream and propel the strength that they have, you know, going through this water and going through the gate. I like bringing my grandkid here and letting him see this because, I mean, who knows? In a couple of years, we could have a drought again with no fish. Turcott hopes the salmon stay healthy so future generations get the same experience he and his grandson witnessed today. In Rancho Cordova, Michelle Bandour, KCRA 3 News. Fish and Wildlife officials say if the salmon stay healthy this weekend, they will open the ladder. They will open the ladder to salmon and begin collecting eggs. By the way, it's the salmon run right now. Then we'll see steelhead in late December until the end of February or early March.